going on, we're going to be making a uh, copy denture in ExoCAD. So first we got to create our database. So I'm going to do chair side client and I'm just going to call this uh, four. And you can just patient first name, last name, and the name or however naming convention you want your cases uh, decided to be in your folder and your technician. Um, I think it's just an upper copy denture and we'll do partial denture workflow because we like the partial denture workflow to get workflow for full dentures. It's it's very similar to designing a hybrid and that's why we choose it. It's a repeatable and predictable process. And if we have an antagonist, we can just hit antagonist. If not, you would just do another denture, partial denture. Two shade, A1, and then always two stone models and occlusion or digital impression scan unless you plan on using a specific articulator in here. Well, let's save and I've downloaded the files and those files will be in my downloads folder. So once we've created this case and we've hit save, I'm going to copy the files from downloads and then we're going to open and explore and this is going to open our folder that we just created when hitting save from our dental DB. So we'll hit paste. We've got our Itero export zip file. I'm gonna extract the files. Now our files are in our patient specific folder. The Itero automatic export, it already creates this database for us. And all we need to do is just change the workflow to partial denture. So once we're ready, we're gonna hit design. Oh, I want the pre-op model on there actually. I'm choosing the pre-op workflow because I want it to ask me to load in a pre-op. That's one thing I messed up. Makes this process a little bit easier launches the design software and it's asking for our upper jaw scan so I'm gonna load up our upper and then it's asking for a pre-op which is also our upper and then our antagonist lower so we're just gonna do a copy denture on the upper and so scan data orientation always have your occlusal surface facing up at you and pre-op placement is correct so we'll leave it on um, 3d data editor we can edit our data so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna crop our jaw scan and I'm going to select only surface of just our, and I've only selected just the integrity surface because I'm doing a digital model impression, basically pouring up a model digitally. I'm going to invert it and delete it. So now we have left our integrity just like we poured a model. Um, but you can see that if I show my triangle orientation, our negative surface is facing where we would want it positive as if it was an impression scan. And we're going to invert it. So now that's kind of like a model. We've got a couple floaties and I'm gonna invert and delete these floaties and we'll hit next. So it's asking us to set our T and we've got our pre-op just right here, just visual reference. It's blue. If we turn the POI off and we can just place teeth. This is just placing the teeth and next we'll set the teeth. So here's where we're setting teeth. It's called tooth placement. Um, it takes you right into chain mode. You can move in a chain orientation but I always move it to simple move all simultaneously and we'll shrink get our midline good and then go from there but since this is a, a copy denture what I'm gonna do is uh, turn off the move all simultaneously button turn that off turn that off and I'm gonna just get these teeth and I'm gonna shrink them and get them inside of where the existing teeth work. This is a direct copy. And I'm gonna have my CAD teeth turn into the STL that's scanned of the existing denture. So I know ExoCAD, um, they're making a copy denture actual workflow and they they actually have the software written and I've seen it in, uh, in Germany. So we're just waiting on that to be released and that'll be a game changer for copy dentures. But right now, this is the, one of the better ways to do it, only in ExoCAD. It's a little bit of a different workflow. So now I've got it like this, and we can go into expert mode. And we're to, in expert mode to activate your tools, click your tan jaw scan, make that blue, and it activates your toolbar on the bottom. The wizard is highlighted in orange on what it would want you to do next. But I want to adapt my full anatomic shapes to my pre-op scan. And that's what I'm going to do right here. So as soon as I hit that, 
it's going to I messed something up. I know what I did. So our scan data orientation on our free off is flipped. See that? <laughs> so I gotta invert it. And now it'll activate well. So adapt model teeth. And now it's adapting our CAD teeth to the existing denture design. Perfect. So all we have to do now is our virtual wax up bottom. This is gonna design gingiva base. Set insertion direction and we hit apply. Virtual wax up bottom is basically your uh, your Boolean subtraction mesh to your intaglio. That's what's gonna remove from your gingiva design and create, it's gonna be the inside intaglio of your denture right here essentially. Gives you a path of insertion. Gingiva base design, mark the vestibule or perimeters and it'll generate the gingiva. So I'm gonna do some free forming to these cat teeth because I think it could look a little nicer. So I'm just gonna go around and just smooth my setup a little bit. Start lingual and you can just shape your teeth a little bit better. You don't have to touch your occlusal surface. And then in our contacts, I can kinda shape the design of the teeth a little better. So I could create more of a tooth socket with this uh, eat and pull tool. So if I just do this and pull up, I can pull my CAD teeth so it looks like it's got more of a tooth socket. Nice. I'll just do a quick smooth. Awesome. So next we'll just freeform our gingiva. Um, just shape and festoon. So you can just shape your gingiva and festoon your gingiva. I just pull in approximately, maybe fix your CEJ region on some of the CAD teeth. And obviously, had some weird structure. Awesome. So that's gingiva based design. Um, to make a monolithic denture, we have to adapt our tooth pocket first. But we have to, in order to activate the merge to mono block tool, um, but we have to make these gap pockets at zero because uh, it's going to merge the uh, anatomic shape and the gingiva based design and it's going to adapt them together as a monolithic denture. But this is how you would also make a split file denture. It just makes you uh, do a split file first and then it'll allow you to do the monolithic after you've made your split file. So now we have an adapted denture base and that's got two pockets. And right here is merged to mono block and then it makes a monolithic file from that. So now we have a mono block try and file. So that's how you do a monolithic copy denture and a split file copy denture based on the exact same setup of teeth. Thanks, that's copy denture. Save your scene always.